Welcome to Think Big SAT Tips and Strategies. My name is Glenn, and I'm the Principal Tutor and Proprietor at Think Big Online SAT Preparation, where we offer 100% interactive, one-on-one -on -one instruction for the SAT. Today we're going to go over SAT Common Writing Error number 5. It's called Noun Noun Agreements. The first thing that we're going to do is look at a simple sentence that illustrates this particular writing problem. Carmen and Sarah are both a pilot. Notice that the compound noun, Carmen and Sarah, is plural. Right? We're talking about two people. But what does Carmen and Sarah refer to? Well, it refers to a pilot, which is singular. Notice that the compound noun, Carmen and Sarah, which is plural, does not agree in number with the singular noun, pilot. So how should this sentence be revised? Carmen and Sarah are both pilots. Carmen and Sarah, which we've already established, is plural. Now, we're using pilots, which is also plural. This is essentially what we're going to be doing on the next four official SAT practice test problems making sure that nouns agree in number with the nouns that they refer to. I should also say that the next four problems are all identifying sentence error questions, of which there are 18 on the SAT. And all we need to do is identify the grammatical error in each sentence if there is one. Okay, let's get this started. The aggressive society created by William Golding in Lord of the Flies both Ralph and Jack emerge early on as the leader of the Lost Boys. Okay, I want to bring your attention to leader. Is leader singular or plural? It's singular. But what does leader refer to? Well, it points back to Ralph and Jack. Okay, a lot like the last sentence. Um, Ralph and Jack is a plural noun. Right? We're talking about two people again. Okay, so there's a disagreement in number between these two nouns. The error in this sentence occurs at C. Okay, but how do we revise this sentence? Well, we change leader, which is singular, to leaders, which is plural. Let's reread this sentence now that we've revised it. In the aggressive society created by William Golding in Lord of the Flies, both Ralph and Jack emerge early on as the leaders of the Lost Boys. All right, moving on. A meteorite shows an enormous variation in size, from micron-sized dust particles filtering slowly through the atmosphere to giants weighing many tons. Okay, I want to bring your attention to the noun meteorite, which is singular. All right, but what does a meteorite refer to? Well, it refers to two other nouns in this sentence particles and giants, both of which are plural. All right, so the noun a meteorite which is singular does not agree in number with the nouns particles and giants, both of which are plural. The error in this sentence occurs today. All right, but how do we revise this sentence? Well, we change a meteorite which is singular to meteorites. which is plural. All right, let's reread this sentence now that we revised it. Meteorites show an enormous variation in size, from micron-sized dust particles filtering slowly through the atmosphere to giants weighing many tons. All right, cola nuts are the caffeine-rich nuts of cola aminata and cola nitida, evergreen forest trees that are native to tropical West Africa and that are a member of the same botanical family as cocos. All right, I want to bring your attention to a member. Is a member singular or plural? It is singular. All right, but what does a member refer to? A member points back to trees. Is trees singular or plural? It's plural. Okay, so notice that the noun a member, which is singular, does not agree in number with the noun that it refers to. 
trees, which is plural. All right, so the error in this sentence occurs at B. But again, how do we revise it? Well, we change a member, which is singular, to members, which is plural. All right, let's reread this sentence now that we've revised it. Cola nuts are the caffeine-rich nuts of cola aminata and cola natita, evergreen forest trees that are native to tropical West Africa and that are members of the same botanical family as cocos. Okay, one more. The stegosaurus, plant-eating dinosaurs with protective bony plates and tail spikes, was once common in what is now Colorado. All right, so I want to bring your attention to the collective noun, Stegosaurus. Okay, we're talking about the species Stegosaurus. This noun is singular. All right, but again, what does it refer to? It goes to dinosaurs. Okay, and dinosaurs is definitely plural. All right, so there's a disagreement um, in number there. All right, so the error in this sentence occurs today. All right, but how do we revise it? Well, we change dinosaurs, which is plural, to dinosaur, which is singular. All right, and we're going to have to uh, insert the article A before plant eating. Okay, let's reread this sentence now that we've revised it. The stegosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur with protective bony plates and tail spikes, was once common in what is now Colorado. All right, guys, that's it for common writing error number five, noun noun agreement. I hope you guys found this video tutorial informative. Please check out our other ones. Hope you have a great day.